Hello and uh, yeah, welcome to another video, another vlog, another day, another adventure and another place. Um, I'm at a place I've never been before. I've actually been to the car park, but I've never actually been out of the car. Um, there's a little jetty or a breakwater. We've got some mountains behind us and stuff like that. We are at Treffer um, in North Wales. Uh, we've come out because we've actually apparently got a storm settled in, uh, Storm Dennis. But I'm not sure, but it seems to have missed this part of the country because it's nothing here. There's no wind. The tide's out. The tide's due in at about 10 to 3, I think. So we're going to come back down for the tide. Hopefully we'll have a bit of wind and crashing a few waves over the top there. Um, so we'll see. We'll wait and find out whether that happens or not. But for now, we're going to head up to some sea stacks. A uh, bit of a treat for you and a bit of a treat for us. And with Mr. O. Good lady wife wasn't feeling up to it this morning so she decided to stay at home uh, and do some housework so can't complain about that can i um so yeah we're gonna head up gonna have a look see if we can find these south uh, south stack sea stacks not sure how far the walk is um but hopefully when we get there i'll show you something and we'll get a couple of pictures no matter what the conditions what i'm hoping for i'll be honest with you what i'm hoping for and there's potential is to get some storms out of the sea coming in got my waterproof on Got all the waterproof gear with me. Uh, so yeah, let's see if we can get some big storms coming in from the sea and we may get drenched whilst doing it. So yeah, I'll chat to you when we find these sea stacks because I've no idea where they are yet. All I know is we're going that direction up there. So I'll see you somewhere that direction. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh my god, I'm not sure if you can hear me. I really hope you can. I'm hitting down behind my bag at the moment and the microphone's right down between my lap. I'm getting a bit of audio on this for you. This is exhilarating. This is really, really cool. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. I just walked down, you see Mr. Roo? It's up there and uh, I've just come down the side and the wind coming up and lifting over the top is mental. But I've come down right on the edge now. I'm actually kneeling down on my camera, on my camera bag and my camera bag's clipped on to my tripod. And my tripod spread out really, really quite wide. And sorry I keep banging my bag, I'm holding you that close to my bag. But these seat stacks, I wanted to get the separation of the water in between them. And you've got all this white froth and you can hear the water lashing and the, the stones rushing back into the sea. seagulls are hovering above the stacks as well. But I've got a lovely line coming down from the top of the quarry, top of the mountain. And I'm sorry I don't know the name of it, I'll pop it out somewhere for you, but it leads down. I mean, I'm struggling talking, the lips are going funny. It leads down to the sea stacks and then you've got the horizon in the distance. Hopefully the seagulls are there and you've got these lovely little jagged rocks with all these lichens on right down in the bottom of the image, which is just pointing that direction, just to try and fill the frame. There's not much else I can do in these conditions. It's too dangerous to be getting too much close to the end. I'm close enough to this But honest to God, as soon as you lift your head up, the wind is banging. But by God, I'm enjoying this. It really is cool. Enjoy this photo if I've got it. And I'm going to try and move down a little bit further, just to look further up the coast, and just to get them rocks on the edge there, pointing across. Oh, 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 oh. This is impossible! 
Hello, welcome back to sunny sunshine. Look at the sky behind me now. Not a cloud in the sky, not a single cloud in the sky. But we've still got our gloves on, we've still got our hat on, we've still got something around our neck. It is warming up a bit, but by God, you've probably just watched some footage, some B-roll and just some complete random stuff of me screaming and shouting and laughing my head off. Me and Owens just got caught in one pretty mental hailstorm. The storm, I saw it coming. I put my waterproofs on. I saw it coming across the coast. I thought it might have been a big chunk of rain, but by God, it was hailstones. And it was hard and it was it was painful, nasty and cold. The temperature dropped and my God, it hurt. I hid behind my bag. Poor little Owen got the full pelt of it on his legs and it was really stinging. Like I say, I hope you've seen some B-roll, but we were laughing, it was so funny. But you can just see how dangerous it can get. Uh, yeah, I'm on the edge of a cliff at the moment, really quite close to the edge of the cliff, as you can see, because I want to try and get this little rock down here and uh, along the edge of the coast. And I've got it, I've got the shot, I've already taken it. Um, I'm going to take another one, I suppose, because the tide's changing all the time and we get different waves and things like that. So I'll just hit the shutter button and the shadow's moving across the sea a little bit as well. So uh, that's that one done. I know I've not been talking settings much. I'm just going to get away from the edge of the water. I know I've not been talking too many settings, but in these conditions, in this wind, there's no chance of talking settings. All the settings are part of the images. We're going to make our way back that way now. Back to the car park, drop of water, maybe a little bit of cake, some chocolate, and then hopefully the waves will build back up against that sea wall down there. So if so, we'll be doing a little bit more photograph. If not, I might call it here. But if I do, I'll let you know when we get down that end. Speak to you shortly. switch the camera on and do you a bit of a talk through image. Uh, the sun's out, it's calmed down a hell of a lot now and uh, I've got a lovely little image set up in front of me. We're looking back towards these lovely mountains, we've got the lovely little bit of coast and the harbour down there and we've got this beautiful little stone leading line. I'm not quite sure what it is actually, it must have been an old wall or something. Uh, I took one just back there, there's a big boulder there, I took one looking down and having the boulder in the foreground. I'll just use this one. It's quite a nice image. Let me just spin you around this way. It's quite a nice little image with this lovely leading line running, running you all the way down that way, uh, running you down across the coast and off into the mountains. And where are, the, where are you gone? Where are you? Come here. Come back here. What are you doing looking over there? Can you see me now? <laughs> yeah, as I say, we've got this lovely little leading line of everything down there. It's a cracking little photograph, it really is. So. Uh, what did I have the camera on? Let me have a look and see what I had the camera on. I've got the um, little stopper on, the uh, six stop. Should I call it? 
couldn't really roll in a little stopper. Uh, we were on eight and I've done a little bit of focus stacking and the reason I've got the stopper on uh, is because I haven't took it off, my bag's on my back. That's the only reason really. The polarizer's on but I've turned the polarizer to the off position just so that I can I can get the uh, the sky looking right because with it on it's causing a really blue patch right in the middle of the right in the middle of the screen. It's not very nice. So I've rolled it round till it's on in an off position. I'm just making my way now down a little bit closer to the to the sea edge because I'd rather get a I think I'd like to get a, a picture looking off the edge of this cliff. Uh, looking down the core of the fence. Oh there's a surfer out there, crazy man. And uh, yeah just basically looking down this coastline and getting some of the wash and some of the waves coming through. So uh, yeah, we'll try and end this off with a couple of nice sunny summery images and uh, oh look at the lovely sea stack behind me as well and i am quite close to the edge of the cliff uh, i'm not going to get too close this is not bad a position just here so i'm going to put my tripod down i've got my spikes on my big spikes are on um, because i was trying to stop it from tipping over but you can see the sea stack behind me where are we over my shoulder just there the nice little sea stack so i'm going to try and get a shot of that thing uh, from down this down this side. Um, I've been on the wide angle lens all day as well uh, but yeah that's what I'm going to shoot. I'm going to take a shot of that, pop them up at the end, f8 to f11 something like that and again it's windy and uh, oh, it's, it's been a good day. I've really enjoyed it. So I'm going to take these last couple of images for you, put them up on the screen and uh, I'm just going to thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed this one because I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed making this little video and uh, coming out in this wind and yeah I'm, I'm speechless today really i'm just gonna take a few more images chill out and uh, enjoy the rest of the day so until next time keep it safe stay away from the edge and enjoy your photography ciao for now oh don't forget like and subscribe for there's more coming this way ciao